Hey guys, today's the 31st of January. It's Friday. It's roughly about 8.20 in the morning. We've just got to Gatwick Airport getting ready for the trip to Finland to play some pond hockey. Last night, about 11, 12 o'clock, we had the choice between deciding to sleep or play hockey at Peterborough. Guess what we decided to do? So right now we're running on about 10, 15 minutes rest. We've been up for over 24 hours, absolutely knackered. We're all ready to play some puck. So the current time is 4.35. We've touched down in Helsinki and we're at the Scandic Grand Marina Hotel. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but that's where we're staying. It's literally like five, 10 minutes from the spots that we're gonna be playing pond hockey in. So we're gonna be looking forward to tonight. Well, we'll be playing at about eight o'clock. We've still not had any sleep, pushing about 27-ish hours. Need to get showered up. Need to get showered up. Ready, like, ready to hit the road. Yeah, smelling foul, but it's been a, a smooth trip so far. Looking forward to playing some puck. So as you can see behind me guys, we found some ice. We're in a nice little area in Helsinki called Braha. This place has a mixture of ice rinks. You can see that right at the end people are skating, but in terms of the amount of hockey games that are going on here, there's at least five or six games going on behind me. The ice is incredible, the atmosphere is amazing, but most importantly, the guys are so friendly. We hopped straight off of the trams, got straight on the ice and started playing, and we've been having a blast ever since we got here. So it's the end of day one. We were skating uh, at Braha. We saw us uh, filming earlier run today. The locals were really, really nice and the ice was really crisp considering it was outside. I wasn't expecting it to be so good. Um, after we finished at the, uh, at the pad, we went over to some of the local bars. Um, keeping in mind, we had all of our hockey gear with us, our skates, gloves, sticks, the camera equipment. The locals took it, put it behind the bar so we could sit down and enjoy um, our time in the bars. The people around here are really, really nice and we're looking forward to the next day. So today's our second day out here. Uh, we're gonna be headed over to the Baltic Sea to play on some natural ice. Uh, this is probably the one that I've really been looking forward to because it's a chance to skate in a place that I've never skated before. Some of the other guys that I'm with also have never skated on this sort of environment. So it's gonna be really cool, get some great shots and take a lot of pictures. We're gonna be meeting up with the same locals that we were with last night. Um, after we finish playing hockey, we're also gonna be headed over to um, a party that we've been invited to by them. It's gonna be a Mexican themed party in uh, Finland, which should be pretty interesting. So we're looking forward to checking that out. But let's head down to the uh, ice and uh, see what we can get up to down there. We're here at the Baltic Sea. We just had about a 30 minute walk from the hotel. Yeah. Trudging through snow, lugging our hockey gear about. But this is, this is what we've come to see behind us here. Um, some of the guys we met playing ice hockey last night are clearing off a sheet of this ice for us. 
So we've got some sailboats that have obviously, they'll be here for the winter now, they've frozen into the uh, sea. I think we've got quite a picturesque scenery for our um, Saturday afternoon game that we're going to get going here. We're standing on the Baltic Sea in Skata, and behind us you can see the Uspensky Cathedral. We've just finished playing what could only be described as the best outdoor hockey experience that we've had. It's pretty insane to think that we're standing on the Baltic Sea right now. The view is insane, we've got ships frozen up in the ice right next to us. The ice is flat, it feels like it's been Zambonied, it's not rough or anything. This is my first experience skating on natural ice and it's been incredible. The people are amazing and the location is perfect. In terms of the standard of hockey of the guys that we've been playing with, it's incredibly diverse. There's people that are pretty much um, playing uh, in the uh, professional leagues over here in Europe down to people that are picking up sticks and skates for the first time. The locals are really friendly, they just want to get together and have a game, so it's great to see the different levels getting together and having fun. All the guys we've been playing with have developed a good community amongst themselves that they're able to meet up in a healthy form of fun. They're enjoying themselves, getting exercise, enjoying each other's friendships, and uh, building that community that really can be provided only through sport and especially hockey. Hockey brings people together, it's as simple as that. Me and uh, Josh right here, we wouldn't be standing here before you if it wasn't for hockey, so this is a truly a great sport, and most importantly, it's a community family sport. So we've got a couple of days left over here. What we're gonna be doing now that we've finished up is we're gonna go grab some food with the locals. Uh, we're gonna be hitting a party later on tonight, um, on Sunday, as it's Saturday today. So Sunday, tomorrow, we're gonna be playing some more hockey, hopefully in a similar location like this. And then uh, that leaves Monday where we'll probably rest, relax. Relax, hit some uh, local saunas, which is yeah, a big thing yeah, over yeah, here, a big part of the culture. And uh, then be looking forward to, well, not looking forward to getting home. We have to go back home after that. <laughs> Hey guys, so today is day three and we are going to be headed back to Braha, which was the outdoor ice rink that we played at on day one. Uh, we're going to chill there because at the minute it's 12.40 um, and we don't have to be at the ice rink to meet the guys that we've been playing with while we've been here until 6.30, so we've got quite a long gap. So we thought we might as well go back to an area that we know and play some hockey. So we're going to head down there, meet up with the guys later on. So today is literally just going to be pure hockey. That's it. But it should be fun. So we've come back to uh, Braha, which is the outdoor ice rink that you can see behind me. And we've just been watching a game that we didn't even know existed. I'm not, I'm not sure if we're just being naive, but it was pretty much field hockey on the ice. The pads aren't, aren't as thick as ice hockey pads, um, but they had pads on, sticks that were much shorter than ours, and they played with a ball. But the guys were insane. Now what we're going to be doing is uh, waiting for these guys to clean up the ice. I don't know how they do that, but you can see something's going on behind me. But as soon as we are uh, ready to jump on the ice, we're going to get on and play some hockey with some more of the locals around here. same group of guys that we played with over the last couple of days. A new group, there was people of all ages there, people that were you know, well into their 40s, some that weren't even older than 15. But we had an incredible game and uh, 
course we won, dominated, but it was more about the atmosphere and the friendly people and the community rather than winning, but I just thought I'd throw that in there. Right now we just stopped at a local place nearby to have some uh, food and now we're having some tea and cookies because it's freezing. To give you guys an idea of how cold it is out there, we had a bottle of water inside our hockey bag that was closed, that was on the ice with us. The bottle was frozen by the time we were trying to drink it. This place is freezing, but it's a lot of fun. So today's the final day here in Helsinki. We woke up about two, three hours later than we intended to miss breakfast at the hotel. We were meant to be headed to the airport, but we've got a few hours to kill, so we decided to stop at one of the um, ice pads and play some hockey before we head off. So this is our make-do breakfast for now, before we get to the airport and uh, get ready to leave, but we're at the ice rink cafe now. Just gonna get this down us and get straight on the ice. Okay, so we've come down the rink on our last day in Finland. It is a Monday, which is a school day, and we've noticed one difference today at the rink is there's a lot more kids about, and it's because they're able to learn to ice skate, learn to play hockey, and a few other on-ice sports uh, as part of their PE education. So we've just arrived at the uh, airport here in Helsinki. Um, keeping in mind that we almost missed the uh, flight because we spent too much time on the ice playing hockey, which is probably a, a bad judgment call by all of us, but we couldn't help it last day here, so it had to be done. Uh, a quick side note is we didn't even have enough change to get onto the uh, bus, but the driver still let us on anyway, which is pretty sweet, which is just sort of an example of how nice people are over here. I just wanted to say that we had an incredible time here. It's exceeded all of our expectations and it's just been a blast from start to finish. My best highlight from being over here would definitely be playing on the Baltic Sea. That's one of those things that I never thought that I'd get to do in my life. Um, it's all fun and well skating on a pond, but skating on an ocean or a sea is a completely different ball game. So it's just pretty sweet to say that we've been able to do that, which is the biggest highlight for this trip as well. We're definitely going to be back here for round two. This place has been incredible. And from what we hear from the locals, there's a lot more um, ice that we can check out during the winter time. So we're going to be planning a round two visit very soon. I also wanted to say a massive thank you to Cervanti for uh, uh, letting us play hockey with them and introducing us to all of the guys in the community that they play hockey with. It's, it's definitely been uh, one of the, the main highlights for all of us visiting uh, Finland. And also wanted to say a massive thank you to Seppo for inviting us to the party after the uh, ice hockey match. It's been an incredible trip and without those guys this wouldn't have been possible. So massive thank you. So if anyone's thinking of visiting uh, some of the Scandinavian countries to play some hockey, uh, the first point is that it's fairly easy to organise, but there's a couple tips that you should keep in mind. The first one being is if you're going to be driving down to Heathrow or Gatwick, pay for your parking a few days in advance and you'll save a hell of a lot of money. You'll get it for about 50-60% off the normal price. The second point is going to be with your baggage. Most people will take suitcases if you're going away. Uh, what we did was we took one of our hockey bags, large bag, and you can fit way more inside there than you can in your standard suitcases. So it might be worth sharing um, your bags to save a little bit on costs for flying over. And with your um, hockey sticks, I know a lot of guys are scared of taking those abroad with them, but uh, most um, airports have a length restriction of 200 centimeters. So provided your stick falls under that category, you can just take it on as a normal um, stowaway baggage. It means that you might have to obviously pay for an extra bag for it to go under, but what we did is we got one hockey stick uh, bag and we put three sticks inside it, so we only had to pay once. Um, and that goes in the oversized baggage at no extra cost. Once you are um, planning on getting onto the plane, wear thermals on the plane. It's a bit uncomfortable, but it means when you land, you're warm because this place is not a joke, it's cold. Another tip is once you're here, if you're trying to do the um, whole trip on a fairly um, low budget, 
Uh, keep in mind that use supermarkets instead of restaurants because you'll save a ton of money. Food is really expensive over here. And with the taxis versus trams, get to know the tram system. It's easy to use, it's quick, and it's very, very cheap because during weekends and just generally, taxis are quite expensive here. Don't be afraid to ask people here because the guys here and the girls, of course, are really, really nice. All of the people here have been more than helpful, so don't be shy of asking. And the last point is once you're here and you're playing hockey, there's no limit. You can never play too much hockey while you're here.